They say that there is a parallel universe somewhere in the world where the Titanic did not sing and Jack and Rose ended up to be together. Unfortunately, this is not that universe. Welcome to the Embarrassing Diary. Good afternoon, friends and family, and welcome back to this channel. And after all of this crazy week with the Eurovision Song Contest, we are here, we are back in another episode. I wasn't planning to make an episode, I was a little bit sick, nobody cares about that, but people have been texting me, hey Zoe, tell us what do you think about the second semi-final, what happened? Let's dive right into it. Right away! Did I shave my armpits? Oh my god. Away! First, we have Malta. Okay, Malta was boring. Okay, that's all I have to say. So next, up next, Albania. Besa. Honestly, it was much better than I thought. What she was wearing was incredible. I did not like the fact that she was changing her outfit all the time. I don't know why during the voting also she changed her outfit. It's a really bad tactic because this is when people mostly want to see you in the green room and what you're doing. Anyways, Albania was not qualified. I was a little bit disappointed. I expected it would qualify because I think it has been one of the best songs Albania has ever sent. Nevertheless, well done, Pesa. Very good work. Up next, we have Greece. May I'm going to make a whole reaction video to Greece, but oh my God, as a Greek person, I've been waiting for Marina Sati for quite a long time and I was very much disappointed with what I saw. I know a lot of people liked it. I know a lot of people did not like it. I know she was going through a lot. I know she lost her father recently. I know the fact that she was sick and she wasn't on her best performance, but it was a mess. I'm gonna talk about it briefly. I'm gonna make a whole reaction video on her, but I did not like it. I expected so much more from the performance. Also, she missed a lot of uh, spots at the beginning with her microphone. I don't know what was happening there. I think all the adrenaline rushed into her body. And honestly, I think she, she just forgot. She was really, it was a very intense moment. And yeah, it wasn't her best performance, honestly. I think she can do much better. And also, I did not like the staging at all. I did not like the flashlights. It was so, there were so many things happening. I didn't, I'm sorry, I didn't like the direction on this one. Nevertheless, it qualified. I had my hopes for this song to even win. I don't think it will win. I had my hopes it will be top five. I have my doubts for that too. And as I said, I'm going to make a whole reaction video on her. Sorry, Marina. I'm, I'm a little bit, I'm not mad. I'm just a bit disappointed. Up next, Switzerland and oh my God. Wow. Killing, he was killing. The voice, best performance. Wow. Incredible, this guy was killing it. It was his night, he was feeling it. Vocally, he was five out of five, he was perfect pitch perfect i i have to be honest when i first heard the song in the video clip i was a little bit confused i didn't like it we made a reaction video with my friend alex he liked it i didn't i had a lot of doubts when i saw this live i was like oh my god do we have a winner and i've also made another reaction video before with zora the spanish song and people a little bit ate me in the comments by saying it doesn't matter that the vocals if they're good or not it's not a singing competition guys i completely disagree whatever we see on stage however they perform that matters really a lot so you have to be vocally on point and you also have to feel the performance this guy was really feeling it he was in shape he was into it he he was flowing he was magically flowing i think we have a winner i think this is the winner of eurovision song contest and i, I i'm really curious to see what will happen on saturday but he was by far the best of the night and the best that we've seen so far then we have czech republic I have to say, I was watching this with my husband and he was like, oh my God, her boobies are incredible. That's one reason I, <laughs> I don't like her. No, no, I'm, I'm joking. I just don't like the song. I wasn't surprised that it didn't qualify. 
I don't know. It's a boring song. I'm sorry, Czech Republic. I love I love Prague. I love Czech people, but no, this didn't do for me. Um, yeah, and I was a little bit jealous of her boobies. But then we have France. I liked it so much. And then we have this part where we all froze. He's going really far from my the, from the microphone, and this is what happens. I like it. <gasps> Incredible. Wow. I wish I was on stage and could be really close to this because this is phenomenal. Very incredible performance. I don't think he will win, but this is one of the performances that we will remember for years. I think maybe his career would take off from here if it hasn't taken. And can I say something? I think this guy's really sexy. <laughs> Up next, Austria. Tiesto. Tiesto. This is Tiesto. Okay. Hear me out about this. Not my favorite. Why? She's an incredible performer. I don't think she's that good of a singer. I'm sorry. It's a fact, right? Like, her vocals are okay -ish. Then we have next, Denmark. The problem with, with her performance was that we have a final video of what she did in the final stage in Denmark. And then we have the same. Nothing changed. Always a beautiful woman in a white dress with a, with a heart thingy flashing there. And that's it. Like, it becomes a little bit repetitive after some point. And I don't think also she gave her all on stage. I don't think she was feeling it. I want to just clarify that what I mean by feeling it. I sometimes do stand-up comedy and I feel it with, my, uh, with the other comedians. There are nights that some comedians are just feeling it. Like they just go on stage and they just kill, you know? And there are some nights that they're not really feeling it. And it makes sense. We are humans. Even even those people are performers and professionals. There are days that you woke up and you're not feeling it. You might be a little bit sick. You don't have the vibe. You don't want to be there at that moment. Not you don't want to be in the Eurovision Song Contest, but you're just not feeling. It's not your vibe. And there are days that you're killing. That's what I'm trying to say. The guy from Switzerland. He was really feeling it, y'all. He was really feeling it. She's not feeling it at the moment. I'm not surprised that she wasn't qualified. I'm sorry, Denmark. Then we have my girl, La Daniva, Armenia. Oh, I love her. My girl. So uplifting. She was so much on point with her vocals. Even the whistle was on point. She was incredible. She was really feeling it. She felt rested. She looked rested. I loved her. I, I, I was so sure that she would pass. And I really hope she, she will do well. She's incredible. And, and her whole team, they're very fun. So, so uplifting. I'm not a singer, but if I would ever be able to sing or make music, this is the type of music that I would want to make. Then we have Latvia that passed. And oh my God, I was so surprised that passed in the grand finale. We were watching it with my, my partner and he was like, okay, I feel that at this point he's trying to convince us, hey, hear me, I have a good song too, huh? Are you listening? I don't know, I'm getting this vibe. Do you hear me? Try to believe me. But vocally he was really good. That's what I'm telling you. It really depends on the performance on that night. He was... Really good and to the point. Um, not my favorite song. I don't like the song at all. I think it's very boring. But yeah, this guy was 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 giving us last night. So yeah, he passed on the semi final. In the what am I saying? On the grand finale. Then we have Spain. Everybody singing. Incredible song. She improved. So I made a reaction video on her and it was it was really intense because a lot of people told me so many details about her that I did not know that she's a hairdresser and that she's not a singer. I don't know how she ended up in Eurovision, but if she's not a singer and she's doing that, this is 
very impressive. I don't know who wrote the song because the song is also very, very good. Um, I don't think it will win, but if it was a singer with a higher vocal range that would take it to another level, it would even be a winning song because this, this is a song that I have on my Spotify. I like the electronic music here. I think she did a great job. She improved. And from the fact that she doesn't have any experience or very little experience, this is really impressive. Of course, the lyrics are also amazing. Everybody's singing this song. I think we're going to hear this song the whole summer. So well done, Nebulosa. I am so proud of this girl. Then we have San Marino. And I have to be honest, and I don't want to offend anyone, but at some point we muted San Marino because we did not like it. Then we have Georgia. Wow. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Don't eat me in the comments, but she's exactly like Eleni Fureira. She's exactly like Fuego. Everything is a copycat. I'm not diminishing of her capacities on what she's doing, but this is exactly like the song Fuego that competed a few years ago. So just because of that, I was a little bit turned off. And also, I'm a little bit bored of seeing the same exact style. A beautiful woman has incredible dance moves, splits, and really intense vocals. Like, we've seen that. Let's see something more original. We don't need to copy each other so much. Let's make something unique. Yeah, how about that? Then we have Belgium, Musti. This song, I had it on my top five. I thought it would do amazingly. I still think this guy this art artist he's the type of a protagonist artist i get his vibe he has a lot of emotions that he emotes because of that that overtakes sometimes his performance and this is what happened here his emotions overtook his performance and he wasn't in his best i don't know i didn't like the performance it was lacking a little bit for me it wasn't like what i saw in the video clip the video clip was amazing i was like wow i was taken aback and when they said that it didn't pass, I was actually surprised. I was a bit sad. I thought it was unfair, especially from the fact that we saw other countries pass. Like, I'm sorry, I would say Estonia. And then you have this guy. I don't know what happened there. But nevertheless, I, I won't lie to you. I did not like the, the, the live performance. Very critical, okay? I'm on my period. What can I say? Then we have Estonia that I told you. What's happening? I think everybody thinks the same. But I have to be honest on one thing. They are feeling it. They are having their best time. Probably they thought, you know what? We're not going to qualify. This is not going to work. So let's have the best time ever. When is this going to happen again? One in a million years or whatever. And then they killed it. Maybe because of that. They really are so confident. And they made everybody so happy so excited in the whole stadium so we have to give this to them as i said not my favorite song a lot of people don't like this song yet still it qualified over belgium what a shock but what a great performance well done guys like you guys you guys are fun then angelina mango and italy i've been waiting for this for a long time what happened why I, I was so surprised here as well. I was disappointed as well by Italy. When I heard the first version when she's alone by herself with her long hair and she's saying, whatever, what I, I don't know how to say it. I'm not a singer, okay? And she's looking at the camera and she has this bad bitch attitude. I'm like, this is the winner of this year. And then I see this mess on stage. I don't know what they're wearing, but this is really chaotic for my eyes because there's a lot of, I don't know how you call this, a lot of these things happening in their clothing. I don't like the clothing. For some reason, it went flat. It felt flat. And also her voice wasn't so incredible yesterday. I think is what I told you. I don't think Italy has the capacity to host again the Eurovision Song, Song Contest for other reasons, uh, like technical reasons. So they downgraded themselves on purpose i think it will still be top five because it's a great song it's an amazing song but stage performance was very 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 mediocre unfortunately then we have israel it was a very intense uh, performance honestly it was good she was very focused very focused 
somebody said that there's some some information that this was actually voted as the first one of the night. I don't know if this is true. I don't think this was the best of the night. I think Switzerland was the best of the night. It could be for other reasons, which I'm not going to analyze. I think she did well, and I think she will do well in the final as well. Is, is this a song that I'm going to listen to five years from now, have it on Spotify and say, oh my God, this was an incredible song? I don't think so. Is this a good song? Yes. Is this a good performance? Absolutely. But just, just I don't think it's the winner of this year. Then Norway. So Norway passed, and I was a little bit surprised as well. However, vocally and on stage, all the performance was incredible. So yeah, good job. They passed. Then we have Jos Klein. <laughs> That was so funny. <laughs> that was so funny. All right. This was fun at the beginning and then it fell flat a little bit for me. I didn't like the graphics in the background. Also, I don't know if you heard of it. They're saying that he was disqualified for some other reasons. I'm very curious what happens. What happened actually? I'm, I'm very curious with how this will turn out for Jos Klein. All right, this is what happened yesterday in the semi-final. I made a very, very brief reaction video. As I said, my winner for now is Switzerland. I am very disappointed by the Greek one because I expected so much more. It's kind of like an epilepsy disclaimer. My eye doesn't know where to focus. I really like Marina Sati, but I think also vocally she was a little bit off tune. Please, Marina, if you're watching this, Take the microphone and put it very close to your mouth. I hope she will do better on Saturday. Tell me what you think. Who do you think is going to win the Eurovision Song Contest this year? I'm really excited, actually, to see it on Saturday. Oh, also one thing. A lot of people told me about the Irish song. I'm going to make a reaction video on it. A lot of people have asked me, actually, to react on other songs from Bambi Thug. Bambi Thug, right? So if you want me to do that, let me know in the comments. Overall, let me know what do you want to hear next and I will really be curious to see what do you think about all of what happened yesterday in the semi-final in the comments and of course don't forget to subscribe make sure you click this thumbs up thumbs down whatever you want to do and make sure to follow me on Instagram I follow everyone back I am a very small account right now a baby Instagram account and I need some guidance to this world it doesn't matter things will go great thank you so much for being here and see you next time